Hello, good morning. Let's go take Grace to dance class. Have fun dancing, okay? Hello, hello, good morning. Again, I already said good morning before the class, but now I am back home getting into my work day. We grabbed Starbucks on the way home too. Nice little treaty treat to start the day, although I have practically finished it at this point. Um, but today's gonna be good. I, I have a lot of like admin catch up work to do. So I'm glad I just have like a dedicated block of time for that. And then I have a couple meetings in the afternoon. I have a ton of footage that I need to organize from yesterday's shoot. Yesterday we were shooting for the Schultze Collective and um, this was one of our November videos where we tried Alex Earl's favorite products. We like tested her favorite makeup products and wore outfits that she's linked and like tried one of her equipment things for filming TikToks. Basically the idea of the video was like, are these things really that great or is it just the Alex Earl effect? Really great shoot. I'm really excited about the video. Um, it was also a long shoot. It was 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And um, we also were filming on like a bunch of different cameras throughout the day. So there's just a ton of footage I need to organize. Kenzie also, like we took a bunch of pictures on her phone. So she just sent those over to me on WeTransfer and I need to like go through and organize those, get everything off my phones and uh, get everything sent off to Rachel so she can start editing. But yeah, after uh, after such like a big shoot day yesterday, I'm excited for today to just be a little more chill. Oh, also a couple days ago, I got, got my eyelashes permed again and I am just loving it. Like I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but I feel like I am just because my eyes get that little extra like lift from the lash perm. They say it lasts like six to eight weeks. Last time I feel like it really started to fade around like five weeks. It was pretty much gone by six weeks. But to me, I still felt like it was totally worth it. I was super happy with the results and I'm glad I got it done again. So yeah, I am gonna put on my glasses get my last few sips of strawberry acai energy. I'm gonna start downloading this transfer from Kenzie and then just dump this footage onto my computer, memory card by memory card, get it all organized. All right, two hours later and footage is organized. It's sending. The clips we took for short form, also organized and good to go. And then I went through the photos, picked my favorite ones of me and got those on my phone so that I can just edit those at some point, probably later tonight. And then I sent all the photos of Kenzie and Ryan off to them because they were the other two in this video with me so that they can pick their favorites. And then those are the ones that we'll include in the video, also used for like promoting the video on Instagram and stuff. Got caught up on my email and my Slack messages. So we are, we're in good shape. We're doing good. Oh, <laughs> literally right as I sent that another email popped up. Okay. I'm going to respond to this. And then actually the next thing I have to do, I am just doing from my phone. So I think I'm literally going to go like lay on the couch while I do this and just chill. Um, we're doing a, a video at the end of the year where we're going to try and style the trends that you guys said you hated the most from 2023. That's going to be our last video of this year. And so we did like a question box on Instagram. So I need to go through all the responses and pick out which ones we're going to use for the video. I already took a little peek last night because I posted it two days ago. Um, and there are some really really good responses. I think it's gonna be a great video. Um, and then it's already 1230. So I think once I finish that, I'm just gonna take my lunch break, get something to eat, and then we'll come back up here for some meetings. Y'all coming through with the suggestions. There's some really good ones in here. <laughs> so I'm chilling on the couch. I was about to go eat lunch and um, Jess and Jaden were cleaning up the equipment from yesterday out in the outdoor studio. And as they were bringing it in, Grace started trying to sing into it like a microphone. And now they've essentially created a girl group. And I'm, ge I'm getting a lunchtime performance. I'm so excited. You're welcome. And thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the best lunch break ever. <laughs> I've got some quinoa, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potato for lunch, and then topped it off with some sour cream and my favorite, favorite chili crisps, but we are running low. I got these at the farmer's market, and I think Grace and I are gonna go to a farmer's market tonight, but they're not always at 
the one tonight. They're at the weekend one all the time. So maybe I'll be able to restock tonight. Maybe next time we go to the weekend farmer's market, but I put these on just about everything. It's so, so, so good. Cows right here. I've been hanging with Grace and her nanny while they have lunch too, but Grace is getting ready to go down for her nap. So I am going to, while I eat, review the next uh, episode of 20 Whatever, which uh, we are now into our Halloween episodes where we dress up in a different Halloween, like group Halloween costume for every episode. And uh, it is just like my favorite. So if you wanna check it out, link to our most recent episode in the description. They're just so fun, so much fun. Okay, it's meeting time. First meeting we're about to jump into, it starts in two minutes. The, the title that we're workshopping is, is it Kendall Jenner or is it a fit? <laughs> Basically three of us are gonna be recreating some of Kendall Jenner's outfits. So we have the photos selected. We have the items ordered. This meeting is uh, kind of going over what the shoot day is gonna be like. And Jaden is in this video and Jess is the producer running point on this shoot day. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's just Rachel and Kenzie in this meeting with us, right? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Unless we have a surprise guest. Yeah. About. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you guys, and welcome to the Is It Kendall Jenner or Is It a Fit production meeting. Ruben can come in at 10 and give him like a full hour to futz with the lighting and set up all of the cameras and I think 45 minutes to an hour is like the appropriate time to film. But like in terms of the video, it's a very small part of the video. Bye. 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 Meeting went great. And I have another meeting in 30 minutes. So perfect amount of time to schedule the vlog that I want to post tomorrow, which I already like reviewed, sent notes on. Second version is downloaded and ready to go. Thumbnail is ready. I just need to like actually upload it, write the description, title and end screen and all those little things, which usually takes me about like 15 to 20 minutes. So let's do that now. Okay, this is October 1 vlog V2. It's like a, a get ready with me vlog for my cousin's uh, wedding rehearsal dinner and then like some fun little being a bridesmaid thing. So let's go with being a bridesmaid plus wedding rehearsal dinner GW, GR, get ready. Get ready with, are you guys laughing at me? G-R-W-M, yes, I was looking for that. I was about to title this, get me ready, ready we? Get get me ready with, get me ready with. Wednesdays are my favorite because it's when everyone's in the office. Usually Kenzie's in the office too and we're just like having the most girly fun time work vibes, but Kenzie only works in person one day a week and since we had the Alex Earl shoot yesterday with her, she's not working today, so Kenzie. We miss you. We'll see you next week. I just love a, a, a Wednesday computer catch up day. I'm writing the description and I, f I forgot that I had like a whole list of products that I wanted to link since it's like a get ready with me and I'm showing all my makeup, which Ryan already got some of the links for um, from my like LTK profile. So I think there's just a couple more that I have to write down and I was smart in that when I did my first review of the video, I wrote the list of all the products that I use so I don't have to try to remember everything step by step now. So I just need to make sure we have links for everything, which is gonna make uploading this a little bit longer than usual, but I think I can still do it in time for my meeting. Also, I got distracted because I sent in the top picks for the most hated trends and everyone is responding with which ones they'd wanna do, which immediately caught my attention, even though this definitely does not need to be something I'm doing right this second. We use Slack for all of our team communication and we only started using this at the end of last year, which is honestly just bananas to me. The fact that we used to do like all this coordination over text and email, like now on Slack, it's just so much more streamlined. We're like a well-oiled machine with this. We have channels for each video, for production planning, for short form, for editing, like so much more organized, so much easier to keep track of everything. I love it. Shout out to Slack. Um, speaking of Slack, I am slacking on getting this vlog uploaded and the clock is ticking. I back to what I'm supposed to do. Ah, uh, yes, the reason I actually opened Slack in the first place, I needed to download the thumbnail for the vlog. I got so incredibly distracted, I forgot what I was even doing. Okay. All right, and the video is scheduled with four minutes to spare, success. All right, I've got 20 minutes left in my work day. I'm wrapping things up. Ryan and Kenzie sent me over their selects from the Alex Earl photos. So I was able to go through and pull all the ones that we're gonna use, send them to my phone so I can edit all of those later tonight, which will be great. I always enjoy editing things more, like the closer I do it 
to when we filmed it. And because it's a lot more fresh in my brain, I feel like I edit faster because I already have like a vision in mind from when we were shooting it. Um, so I'll probably do that tonight after I put Grace to bed. Um, so I'm ready to log off here. And then I have a package I wanted to unbox with you guys. So when I went to Nashville in the spring for my friend Shannon's bachelorette party, I went shopping at this really cool little plus size boutique called the Extended Shop. And I found like the cutest stuff there. I always get asked where this sweater is from. It was from there. Um, and they do have an online website. So ever since I went and shopped there, I've been following them on Instagram, perusing their new arrivals every so often. And they posted this, what I'm about to show you. This beautiful, beautiful fall maxi skirt that was just absolutely calling to me and i've been so excited for it to get delivered it feels really nice it's got the cute little tiered ruffle on the front and this brown plaid fabric that feels really nice and soft but not too heavy which is like perfect for the fall that we experience here which isn't really fall <laughs> It's like summer light. And I have just been such a maxi skirt girl the past couple months. They're just like so comfortable and functional and they feel like mature and put together, but still very cute and fun. I'll wear like a lightweight pair of under bike shorts, like from Thigh Society under these. And I just feel like completely uninhibited. I have no chub rub, totally comfy to wear like all day. And the elastic waistbands are just the best. Like I feel like I can do anything in a maxi skirt and feel completely uninhibited and like keep up with Grace, chase her around do all the things. They're long enough that I don't have to worry about like flashing someone when I bend over. This is my love letter to maxi skirts and I am especially excited about this one to wear for fall. It's just such a cute print for fall. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. Could do like a chunky sweater and boots or like dress it down a little bit with just a t-shirt tucked in. And you know what? I have like 10 more minutes. So let's, let's try it on real quick. See how it fits. I'm sure it's gonna fit fine. It's literally just a nice flowy maxi skirt, elastic waist. What could go wrong? Oh, Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. It looks so cute. It's got like the perfect flowiness. The elastic waist fits perfect. Love the length. This is like my ideal maxi skirt length, just like a little bit above the ankle. Wow, I am so happy with this. Gosh, this is just the best. Also, um, next weekend, we're taking a little weekend trip to Oregon with our friends Carson and Hannah and their son Robbie. And I feel like this is just gonna be so cute, like Oregon fall vibes. Absolutely, we'll be packing this. So freaking cute. I, I'm very happy with my purchase. As cute as this is, I think I'm gonna change back into my outfit from today, save this to wear tomorrow when I'm with Grace all day so I can get a full day's wear out of it. Um, but I am tempted to wear it to the farmer's market because it's just so dang cute. All right, I, well, first I'm gonna put my hair up because I am getting a little sweaty. It's kind of hot today and I'm just ready to be done having my hair down. And I'm gonna go downstairs with Grace. We'll say bye to her nanny, which it sounds like they just had like the most amazing day. Grace was in like the sweetest, funniest mood. I went downstairs to fill up my water and Grace was like, we built a fort. <laughs> Mama, look, we built a fort. And she thought it was so funny. They like put all of her pillows and toys inside and like Bella was in there with them. Um, so she's in a great mood. I'm really excited for my evening with her. And it's just gonna be Grace and I tonight. Steven is gonna be coming home late because he's taking his parents to the airport tonight. They have a late flight for a trip that they're going on. So it'll be just Grace and I this evening. We're gonna chill here for a little bit, then go over to the farmer's market by the beach, stock up on fruits and veggies, probably grab dinner out while we're there, and then come back home and do bath time, bedtime routine, and I'll finish up that bit of photo editing once she's asleep. So cue a fun little montage of the evening. Oh, well. Bye. <laughs>
Hello, it is now 9 p.m. Grace is asleep. I'm cuddled up in bed with the dogs, editing the photos I needed to do. Steven's on his way home. Oh, so I'm excited to see him. It was a really nice evening. Farmer's Market was great. We got um, a take and bake pizza there that was so bomb. Got some of the veggies that we got all prepped and stuff. And then I like randomly, I was like, you know what? I'm going to roast some of this cauliflower right now to have with the pizza. That sounds delicious. And the oven was already hot. So just threw that in and that was really good too. But yeah, it was a really nice evening. I always love the farmer's market and Grace, Grace discovered a new favorite song while we were there. One of the, the street performers was playing Benny and the Jets and she was like so into it. She's like, mama, what this song is? Mama, I like it. Mama, this song? And I was like, this is Benny and the Jets. This is a, a Elton John classic, Grace. Like, I love this song. And then as soon as we got in the car, she was like, Benny and the Jets now, please? Music? Benny and the Jets? So we listened to that uh, on repeat many times this evening. And then when I was putting her to bed, I always sing her a couple songs. And usually it's like, you know, her favorite princess songs. Sometimes songs also from the Captain America musical, which she is still just so into. And tonight after singing uh, Cinderella, A Dream is a Wish Your Heart Makes, she's like, mama sing Benny and the Jets. <laughs> and I feel like that song is notorious for like no one really knowing what the lyrics are. So I, uh, I, I faked my way through that one really, really smoothly. But it is just such a good song. It's so fun, like having a toddler who's like starting to take an interest in music. Like she always is asking me like what song is playing. She always wants to know if I like the song, what my favorite part of the songs is. She tells me what her favorite parts are. And like when she discovers, you know, songs that are new to her, but have been around forever, like Barbara Ann by the Beach Boys is one of her favorites. Party in the USA, now Benny and the Jets. Also, I love that I threw like Party in the USA in with two classics. It is a classic, an absolute certified classic. Actually, I don't apologize for putting it in those ranks at all. Anyways, um, I'm gonna finish editing these photos. And then when Steven gets home, we can chill, watch a show, spend some time together before we go to bed. And that's the day. Also, I'm embarrassed to admit how tired my arm gets holding the vlog camera at this angle. Like it's low key kind of heavy. I feel like I'm like doing some weight reps here. The elusive Steven of Sierra and Steven IRL. <laughs> uh, life's been a little crazy and busy, but you know, it's good. Where's Steve? It's like, where's Waldo? <laughs> but where's Steve? Anyways, just did some driving to the airport for my folks, so glad to finally be back. Good day? I had a good day. Good work day. Had dinner with my parents, so that was fun. Um, yeah, just a good little evening. <laughs> Bruiser clearly missed you. I know. <laughs> Hello, Bruiser. All right, well, that is it for this vlog. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. <sighs> bye. Bruiser, say bye. Oh, I remember back when it was just the, the OG trio. <laughs> there was no Steven and Sierra. There was always Steven, Sierra, and, and Bruiser. Bruiser. <laughs> the unsung hero. The unsung. Well, I don't know about hero, but the, 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 unsung, <laughs> the unsung entity. <laughs> Bye. Bye.